Ever feel like you're running on empty, even though you're working harder than ever? It's a sentiment many of us know all too well. Welcome to the world of job burnout. It's a common phenomenon that doesn't discriminate. Whether you're a teacher, a doctor, a lawyer, or an entrepreneur, burnout can strike when you least expect it. But what does burnout look like? There's no one-size-fits-all answer to that, but there are some telltale signs. Maybe you're feeling tired all the time, despite getting a good night's sleep. Perhaps you're losing motivation for tasks that once excited you. Or, you might find it increasingly difficult to concentrate, your mind drifting off even during important meetings. It's like your body and mind are subtly telling you, enough is enough. So, if you're feeling burnt out, what can you do about it? Stick around as we delve deeper into this modern-day dilemma. First things first, you need to recognize the signs of burnout. It's like trying to read the weather. You've got to know what to look for. Burnout often starts with emotional exhaustion. You may find yourself feeling drained, lacking energy, and struggling to muster up the enthusiasm to get through the day. Next, there's a noticeable drop in performance. You might find it harder to concentrate, tasks may take longer to complete, and the quality of your work might not be up to your usual standards. Then there's the feelings of negativity. You may start to feel detached or indifferent about your work or even develop a cynical outlook. The job that once sparked joy now only sparks frustration and stress. These are your red flags, your warning signs. They're telling you it's time to ease off the pedal. Once you've recognized these signs, it's time to take action. One of the best ways to combat job burnout is by taking regular breaks. Now you might be thinking, I don't have time for breaks. But hear me out. Breaks are not a luxury. They're a necessity. They're like hitting the reset button on your brain, allowing you to recharge and refocus. Think about your mind like a muscle. Just like you wouldn't lift weights non-stop for hours, you shouldn't expect your brain to work without pause. Short breaks, even as brief as 5 minutes, can reduce stress and improve productivity. The key is to step away from your work entirely during these breaks. Stretch, take a quick walk or just sit quietly. These activities help to clear your mind and lower stress levels. Even the most demanding jobs can become more manageable when you incorporate regular breaks into your schedule. So, don't underestimate the power of a pause. Remember, a break now can save you from a breakdown later. Another key to avoiding job burnout is maintaining a healthy work-life balance. Now what does that mean? Well, it's a concept that encourages a balance between your work life and your personal life. It's about ensuring that your professional responsibilities don't consume all of your time and energy leaving you depleted when it comes to your personal life. Overworking or spending too much time on professional tasks at the expense of personal time can lead to stress, fatigue, and ultimately, burnout. It's like running a marathon without taking a breather. Sooner or later, you're going to collapse. Setting boundaries between work and personal time is crucial. This could mean setting specific work hours and sticking to them or making sure to take time for hobbies, relaxation, or social activities. Remember, you're not a machine. You need time to recharge, to enjoy life outside of work. Achieving a healthy work-life balance is a journey, not a destination. So take it one step at a time, and remember it's okay to take a break. Physical activity isn't just good for your body, it's good for your mind too. It's a vital part of the equation when it comes to managing stress and preventing job burnout. Regular exercise releases endorphins, those feel-good hormones that act as natural painkillers, and mood elevators. They help to combat stress, improve sleep, and boost self-esteem. But exercise doesn't have to mean hitting the gym for an hour every day. It could be something as simple as taking a brisk walk during your lunch break, doing a quick yoga routine in the morning, or cycling to work instead of driving. The key is to find a physical activity you enjoy, making it more likely you'll stick with it. And here's the kicker. Regular physical activity can also increase your productivity and creativity at work. So, not only does it help keep burnout at bay, but it could also give your career a boost. Remember, a healthy body leads to a healthy mind. Sometimes the best way to beat burnout is by seeking support. Yes, it's true. We often underestimate the power of a supportive network around us, but it can be a game changer when it comes to managing job burnout. So, who are these supporters we're talking about? They could be your colleagues, friends, family, or even a mental health professional. Each of these individuals brings a different perspective to the table, and their insights can help you navigate through the tough times. Your colleagues can provide useful advice on managing workload, while friends and family can offer a comforting shoulder to lean on. A mental health professional, on the other hand, can offer therapeutic strategies to cope with stress and burnout. 
Remember, talking about your stress can actually help alleviate it. It's like releasing the pressure from an overfilled balloon, so, don't hesitate to reach out and ask for help when you need it. Remember, you don't have to face burnout alone. So, to recap, job burnout is a serious issue, but it's not insurmountable. In fact, with the right approaches, it can be effectively managed and even avoided. We've discussed a series of strategies that can help you do just that. Firstly, recognizing burnout is crucial. It's about understanding the signs and symptoms such as fatigue, lack of motivation, and reduced productivity. It's about acknowledging when work is no longer just challenging, but downright draining. This self-awareness is the first step towards combating burnout. Secondly, never underestimate the power of breaks. It's not about being lazy or shirking duties. Breaks are essential for our mental health and cognition. They help us recharge, refocus, and return to our tasks with renewed energy. Whether it's a five-minute breather or a week-long vacation, breaks are a necessity, not a luxury. Next, we discuss the importance of maintaining a healthy work-life balance. This isn't just a trendy buzzword, it's about setting boundaries between your professional and personal life, ensuring that one doesn't overshadow the other. Remember, you're not defined solely by your job. You have a life outside of it, and that life deserves your time and attention too. Staying active is another key aspect. Physical activity boosts our mood, increases our energy levels, and improves our overall well-being. It's a natural antidote to stress and a powerful tool against burnout. So, whether it's a quick jog or a yoga class, find an activity that you enjoy and make it a part of your routine. Lastly, don't hesitate to seek support. Whether it's from a trusted colleague, a mentor, or a mental health professional, having someone to talk to can make a world of difference. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. You're not alone in this. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more professional advice. Remember, taking care of yourself is the first step to a successful career.